Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to model a pumpkin with the volume objects and finally I will use remesh object to get this topology so let's start I will start with a sphere and let's see the lines. Then I'm gonna set the segments to 14 and make the sphere editable. Press C. Now I will select these polygons. Now I am gonna invert the selection. Click here. Now I will delete them. Now I will press Alt. And select cloner object. Sorry, cloner. Then I'm gonna set the mode to radial. And if you remember, we had 14 segments, so I'm gonna write it right here. Then set the radius to zero. Also, I will put that cloner into a connect object. Press Alt and select connect. Now, basically, I have the same. Sophia, but now I can play with these polygons. Select them, right click, extrude inner. Then I will switch to points mode, select slide, right click. Then I will press control and move that point to, to, to that point. It's gonna merge the points. Now I will switch to polygon mode and select these ones. Right click and normal move. Also I will select these edges. Right click select slide, press control and slide. These are gonna be my sporting edges. Then I will do the same thing, merge these points. Okay, now let's add that connect object into a subdivision surface to see what we get. So I press Alt, select subdivision surface. Now we get these funk breaks, breaks. So I got funk tag and increase the angle something higher than 40 also i will push that point down at this point i can make that connect object editable press c and i will delete these ones press ctrl and switch to edge mode this is gonna convert these points to edges first i am gonna scale them to zero press shift then i will press ctrl and scale them i will do that one more time but this time i will right click and select collapse let's enable subdivision surface now let's try to create the face. I will switch to front view, press Shift and V, go to back, and select the image. Then I will center it. I will hide my object. Select spline pan. After you've we have finished your spline, switch to point mode, and you can change them like that. To get that sharp spline, press shift and move that handle. And I think I can copy that for the left eye and 
I can go to coordinates and set the x scale to minus 1. It's not exacting, but I can change points. For the mount, I will use Splunk Pen, but this time I will change type to Linear, which is going to be easier. Just follow the shape. I am not going to make them into one object. Instead of that, I will create a connect object, then put them inside the connect. So later I can change the points. Now I will select connect, press alt and select extrude. Let's work like that. Then I will turn the visibility off. Select my subdivision surface and I will add the volume builder. Set the voxel size to 1. After that, I will press Alt and select volume measure. Now you will get these sharp angles. The reason is, let me show you, I will turn off the volume objects. If you select your phone angle and set it to zero, this is what the volume sees when you put these objects. So it doesn't know that what is phone. So to get rid of that, you can increase the subdivision either to three or four, or you can add a smooth STF smooth. But I will use both of them. First, I will add a subdivision editor to one. So I will make three. Now I will go to volume builder and add my X root top of the subdivision surface. But I will set it to subtract. But I want another thing. I want inside to be hello or empty. To do that, I will copy that the first object that we made. Then I'm going to select all the polygons, normal move, and make something like that. Then I'm going to put that new subdivision surface to my volume builder. And I'm going to set the mode to subtract. And don't forget to turn off the visibility of the second connect object. Now let's try to smooth the surface. Go to volume builder and add STF smooth over the top. I will decrease the strength to let's say 15. Also, I will increase the iterations to 4. Now let's check the topology. At this point, you can use adaptive, but generally use remesh. So create a remesh. Let's make it thematic 5%. Keep outline, keep creases. Then I am going to put that volume measure into the remesh. Now let's let's decrease the voxel size to get sharper edges and 0.7 is the best number for me because below that my computer can't handle that. So let's see what we get and I will turn off remesh for now. Also Let's decrease the iterations to 2. 
and maybe we can get 20 percent strength now i will add one last thing i will add a disk make it editable and i will select these points i will let left one point between them then i will scale them select all polygons extrude but turn on caps i will put that into a subdivision surface and select object press shift add a taper then same thing shift select twist this time but first i need some resolution so i will select the object select loop cut press shift but before that i think i should scale this down then the last deformer bent deformer press shift select bent but I will put the band to the regular bottom. Yeah, and I will put that into my volume builder over the subdivision surface or first object, and I will hide that. At this point, either you can use that remesh object or make that editable, then select polygon pen and create your own new mesh. But I will show you in that another tutorial. So that was it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorials. Bye.